Imagine a perfect ride. The sun is warm, the trail is quiet, and you and your horse are moving as one. Then a sudden rustle in the bushes. A plastic bag catches the wind, and in an instant, that perfect harmony shatters. Your horse explodes in a panic leap, a heart-pounding bolt that seems to come from nowhere. You've seen it happen. Maybe you've even been on the receiving end. We call it spooking, and it's one of the most unpredictable, frustrating, and even dangerous behaviors in the equestrian world. But what if I told you that a spook isn't a choice? It's not a moment of defiance or a sign that your horse is being naughty. It's something far more profound. It's an involuntary, deeply ingrained survival response, a perfect blueprint of millions of years of evolution playing out in a fraction of a second. Today, we're going to pull back the curtain on the science behind their fears. We'll uncover the secrets of the equine mind, dissect the anatomy of a spook, and reveal why a harmless object can look like a hungry predator to your horse. By the end of this video, you'll see your horse not just as a partner, but as a masterpiece of natural engineering, and it will change how you train and connect with them forever. So stick around to the very end because we have a crucial piece of information that will completely reframe your understanding of their behavior. And while you're here, if you're as fascinated by the minds of horses as we are, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Inside Horses community. It helps us bring more of these deep dives to you every single week. To truly understand why horses spook, we have to travel back in time long before domestication to a world where their survival depended on one thing, speed. Horses are, at their very core, prey animals. For millions of years, they were not the mighty creatures we ride today, but rather a main course for saber-toothed cats and dire wolves. Their entire existence was a constant, high-stakes game of vigilance. Their bodies and brains evolved to detect danger and react instantly, without hesitation. And this is the key to everything. In their wild past, a moment's pause to think was a moment too late. A rustle in the grass, a sudden movement in the shadows, a strange scent on the wind. Any of these could mean the end. So their brains developed a super-fast precognitive alarm system. It's a primal lightning quick circuit that bypasses the logical reasoning part of their brain. A horse doesn't see a plastic bag and think, oh, that's just some litter. What their ancient hardwired brain sees is a sudden, flapping, unpredictable movement. And that, in a split second, is categorized as a potential threat. Their first and only instinct is to flee first and ask questions later. And their body is perfectly designed for this. A horse's eyes are positioned on the sides of its head, giving them a near 360-degree field of vision. This wide-angle view is perfect for spotting a predator approaching from any direction. It also creates two small blind spots, one directly in front and one behind them, which can also trigger a spook if something appears in their peripheral vision, seemingly out of nowhere. Combined with their incredible hearing, which can swivel independently to pinpoint the exact source of a sound. It's easy to see why they are constantly on high alert. When a horse's senses pick up a perceived threat, the signal travels to a primitive part of their brain called the amygdala. This is the control center for all emotions, but especially fear. The amygdala doesn't waste time processing the data for logic or context. Instead, it instantly triggers the flight or fight response. A surge of adrenaline floods their system, their heart rate skyrockets, their pupils dilate to take in more light, and their muscles tense, ready for a desperate and immediate escape. This is a purely physiological reaction, not a conscious choice. What's fascinating is that a horse's brain is so wired for this that they often react to a stimulus they can't even see. It's their other senses working overtime. A sudden shift in wind can carry a strange scent. A footstep on a loose stone can be heard from far away, or a flicker of light can register as a dangerous shadow. For us, these are minor details. For them, they are potential life or death warnings. This is why a horse can seem to spook at nothing. What we perceive as nothing, they have already processed as a possible threat and reacted to it. And this brings us to a crucial point about the rider's role. 
Our own tension and anxiety are like an alarm bell to a horse. Their high-frequency hearing and incredible sensitivity to touch mean they can feel our subtle shifts in breathing, our tightening muscles, and the accelerated beat of our hearts. If we're nervous, we are, in a sense, telling them there is something to be afraid of. If this discussion is making you think about your own riding, I invite you to share your experiences. Have you ever been on a ride and felt your horse spook at something you couldn't even see? Drop a comment below and tell us your story. Learning from each other is how we all become better horsemen and horsewomen. The incredible thing about a horse's fear response is that it's not static. It can be shaped by experience. A horse that spooks at a specific type of car, for example, might have had a bad experience with one in the past. This is a learned fear, and it's a completely different challenge from their instinctive evolutionary fear. This is where patience, understanding, and proper training become essential. Systematic desensitization is the gold standard for helping a horse overcome a learned fear. This involves a slow, gradual, and positive exposure to the feared object, starting from a safe distance and slowly getting closer, always rewarding calm behavior. The goal is to show the horse that the object is not a threat, thereby overriding their learned fear with a new, positive association. It's a slow process that builds trust and confidence, and it's the opposite of flooding, which is when a horse is forced into a terrifying situation. Flooding can severely traumatize a horse and cement their fear, creating a more dangerous situation in the long run. The key to all of this is understanding the horse's perspective. And this brings us to the most important lesson of all. The one that once you truly grasp it, will change everything about how you interact with your horse. The single most valuable piece of information you could take away from this video is this. A spook is an involuntary act of self-preservation, not a voluntary act of disrespect. Your horse isn't acting up, they aren't trying to be difficult, and they are not being disobedient. They are simply reacting to millions of years of genetic programming designed to keep them alive. When you realize that their panic is an instinctual survival response, not a choice, it removes the frustration and replaces it with empathy. It changes your approach from how do I punish this behavior to how can I help my horse feel safe? This single shift in perspective is the most powerful tool you can have in your training arsenal. It builds a deeper bond of trust and mutual respect, which is, after all, what horsemanship is all about. If this perspective changed how you think about your horse, hit that like button to let us know. And please, share this video with a fellow rider who could use this insight. It might just be the most important thing they see today. And of course, if you're not already part of the Inside Horses family, now's the time. Subscribe to not miss out on more deep dives like this one. We're on a mission to bring a new level of understanding and connection to the world of horsemanship, and we can only do it with your help. Finally, I'd love to hear from you. Tell me in the comments below about a time you finally understood why your horse did what they did. Let's learn from each other.